Waukesha Parade suspect Daryl Brooks Jr. back in court this morning. He's accused of killing six people and hurting dozens others. WISN 12 News' is Hillary Mintz is joining us live at the courthouse with the update. Hillary. Hey, Adrian, I sat in court with more than a dozen victims and coming into the hearing today, Brooks's defense team argued that there's too much bias in Waukesha County, too many people impacted by the parade to find impartial jurors. Well, prosecution came up with a brand new plan to find out if that's in fact true. So Daryl Brooks is charged with 81 felonies, including six counts of first degree intentional homicide, one for each victim. Prosecutors also tacked on six additional homicides side charges with which basically alleged Brooks was on drugs when he drove through the parade. Brooks asked for a change of venue or for an outside jury and for jurors to be sequestered during the trial. Prosecutors say if they send out a jury questionnaire to a jury panel starting next month, they'll know right away if it's possible to have an impartial jury in Waukesha County. Our ideas try and screen as many people as we can with the significant questions, if anybody's donated money, if anybody was at the parade, if anybody knows somebody who was injured at the parade, things like that, an initial screening. That'll give us all a much better idea than something being posted on Facebook and we don't know who saw it and we don't know um, who commented on it. All other dates on now, the judge liked the idea, but the defense was hearing the plan for the first time, so didn't have a chance to respond yet. Brooks is due back in court at the end of the month when that jury questionnaire could be finalized. A trial date was set for October 3rd, and they're expecting that to run anywhere from two to four weeks. Adrian. All right, of course, we'll be covering this trial all along the way. Hillary Mintz joining us live. Thank you.